Hello world, welcome to my channel. I am Sahil and from today I am going to start a new web development series in which I will show you how to develop an e-commerce system using Laravel 10, Livewire 3, Filament 3 and Tailwind CSS. And this is the first video of the series in which I am going to show you the full demo of this e-commerce project. After this I will start uploading video tutorial of this project in part by part. So let's now explore the demo of this project. Okay. So this project consists of two panels. First panel is end user panel. So this is the home page of end user, end user panel. Okay. And there is an admin panel also. So let me first log in to admin panel. So here if I write slash admin, then first we will see the login page of admin panel so here we have to write the admin credential now here you can see this is the dashboard page of admin panel let me first switch to light theme okay now here you can see some basic information like uh, welcome message and sign out button and there is a section here and here you can see the latest order so all latest orders will be displayed here in the dashboard page you can also open any orders directly from the dashboard page okay now there is an user management section in admin panel so here all users will be displayed and all user who is registered in in the user panel is displayed here okay you can manage any users like you can uh, modify any user details and you can delete any uh, user okay and you can also create any new user from admin panel okay so let me create a new user from admin panel side so here i will write test user and test at the red gmail.com and here email verified at is automatically uh, automatically selected the current timestamp and here in password I have to write one two three four five six okay and if I click on create then a new user is created okay now if I go to users list page then here you can see this is the created user latest created user now if i click on any other users then you can see this is the edit page and you can see a section orders okay so these all orders are associated with this user okay and from here you can uh, go to this particular order and you can also delete any order from this page also okay now this is the category management section from here you can add new categories i have already uh, created some categories like laptops smartphones smartwatches televisions okay if you want to create new uh, categories then you have to click on this button and let me create a test category okay so here in name i will write test category and if I unblur this uh, input field, then you can see a slug is automatically generated in this field. Okay, now here I'm selecting any random image just to show you. Okay, now if I click on create, then a new category has been created. Okay, if I click on categories, then here you can see new category is showing below now if i click on this dotted menu then i can click on this view to see the details of the category in a model okay i can also modify uh, some information of this category okay and i can also delete so let me delete this click confirm to delete okay similar similarly like categories i have brand section 
uh, in admin panel okay so i i have already listed some brands like xiaomi apple samsung oneplus you can add as many as brands here okay so if if you just click on this new brand then similar like categories there is a form with name slug and image okay and you can also perform all the operation crowd operation like view edit delete list okay now this is the products section where you can uh, add new product from admin panel and this product will be listed in the end user panel okay so uh, here uh, you can see i have already added some products and uh, if we click any of the products then you can see the edit page on the product with all the information like name slug description price association like category brand and all the images and status okay so let me uh, create one product so i will click on this new product button and this is the beautiful beautiful form you can see so using this form we can create new products okay so here i will write one plus 4k tv okay if i unblur this uh sorry blur this input field then you can see the slug is automatically generated okay now in description i will copy from amazon.com so just copy and paste here this is a markdown editor so you can use markdown uh, and you can like you can bold any line you can make italic of any line you can use list you can use a uh, table you can also insert image in the description okay and let me uh, write the price of this product so i will write twelve thousand and here we have to uh, select the category of this product so this is a television so i will select television and for brand uh, this is a oneplus brand so i will select oneplus you can also search for the brand here so i'm so i'm searching one so you can see oneplus showing here now if i click then you can see the brand is selected now here uh, i can uh, upload uh, more than one image uh, of this product so let me just go to oneplus 4k tv so i will upload four images for this product so i will select four images and then click open so you can see all the images are now uploading and this this is the status area so you can see if you want to keep this product in stock then you have to enable this check and if you want this product to be active then you have to check this active and if you want to make this product featured then you have to enable this and you can also make this on sale okay so i will keep this is featured okay now all the images are uploaded and all the information is filled so if i click on create then a new product will be created and once it is created then you will be redirected to the edit page of this uh, product okay you can now uh, you can now modify any information later uh, like if i go to the list of products again and uh, this is the latest product that i just created so if i click on this product now suppose i want to modify the price so 15499 okay and i will i will also i can also reorder any image here so let me reorder to this to the last and this to second last okay now if i click on save changes then all will be saved okay now this is the orders section okay and here you can see uh, some statistics related to orders okay so you can see new orders and 
order processing and average price and you can also see, uh, see some buttons for uh, sorting like if I want to uh, list all the new orders then if I click on new then you can see all the orders with the new status is listed below if I click on processing then only three uh, orders is in uh, processing status and if I click on shipped then you can see only one product is showing in shipped with shipped status if I click on delivered then there is showing one like cancel if I click cancel then all the cancelled order will be displayed here okay now here uh, if I click on three dotted menu then you can see a view if I click on view of any product then you can see all the details of the product like who is the customer payment method payment status and product uh, sorry order status currency uh, shipping method notes and order items so this order has three items and all items are listed here like uh, product one quantity unit amount and total amount is calculated here and all grand total amount is showing here and uh, also the address related to this order is showing below okay now let's see uh, we can also create any orders directly from the admin panel okay so if i click on new orders then you can see the form here okay now from here i can select all the customers so, so uh, suppose i will select this customer and i will select the payment method cash on delivery and payment status is pending and status will be new you can also select processing shipped delivered cancelled so i'm selecting new and currency will be inr and shipping method you can also select shipping method from here so i will select fedex and in notes this is optional you can give notes or you can leave it blank okay now here this is the repeater field so i can select a product and you can see if i select uh, when i selected the product then unit amount of the product is faced and total amount is also calculated here if i increase the quantity here then you can see the total amount is calculating here i can add more items so if i click on add items then i can select another uh, one like this one and you can see this is also added and you can add as many items if you want you can also remove any items by clicking this delete icon now if i click on create then you can see the order has been created okay so basically this order will be created from end user panel by the users end user okay so these are all the features of admin panel now let's move on to the end user panel and see what we can do from the end user panel so this is the home page of the end user panel where i am showing all the popular brands from the uh, from the database so this is basically uh, dynamic okay and similar like this i'm also displaying cat grease so if i click on laptops then uh, we will see only laptops if i click on smartphone then we can see smartphone products okay and this customer review is uh, just static okay you can make it uh, dynamic if you want and this is the hero section okay now if i click on categories then this is the categories page where all the categories are listed so this is uh, uh, coming from the database so there are four categories available in uh, database as you have just seen in admin panel okay and if i click on products then all the products are listed here with the pagination and 
with some uh, some filter parameters like categories brands product status okay and price filter okay so and you can also sort by latest and sort by price and all the products are displaying here if i click to the next page then you can see next product next page product and we can and this is the uh, product that i just added in the admin panel one plus 4k tv if i click on any of the products then you will be redirected to the uh, detailed uh, view of the product okay so this is the name of the product this is the price and this is the uh, description of the uh, product and here you can see all the uh, product images are showing so these are a small thumbnails if you want to view in a bigger size then you have to click on the thumbnail and similarly you can view any of the thumbnails in large okay and you can uh, click here to add this product into the cart okay so let me first go to products okay and here let me show you the uh, sorting and filtering uh, features of this products page okay so suppose uh, i want to see all the laptops so i can select laptops then you can see all the laptops only visible in the products page okay now i want to so uh, display all the laptops with the apple brand okay so i can select uh, laptops and apple then you can see only laptops with the brand apple is now showing here okay similarly uh, i can also select smartphone so uh, with this brand apple brand uh, for this apple brand a smartphone and laptops will be visible in the product page i can uncheck smartphone then you can see the uh, laptop is showing now if i uncheck the laptop then all apple products is only shown you can see apple watch apple macbook uh, and apple uh, phone apple iphone okay and similarly uh, if you want to see the featured or on sale pro uh, products then i can check on on sale then you can see on all the on sale products are displaying here i can see the all featured product also okay and i can also uh, increase or decrease this uh, price uh, slider so let me decrease it to 66000 so all the products up to 60 uh, 62000 will be displaying here so you can see all the product price is just below than 62,000 if I decrease more 30,000 then in 30,000 there are only two products if I increase then you can see according to the price range all the products are now fetching and displaying in the products page okay I can also uh, sort by uh, price and sort by latest if I click on sort by price then you can see the uh, all the products with the uh, sending order of the price is displaying like this is the smallest price then this is the bigger the, this is the bigger than this like this one okay so this is all the features of this product page and if I go to home page and if I click on saw me then you can see automatically all the swami products is showing in the products page we are redirecting to the products page but with the swami products similarly if we go to home page again and if i want to uh, see all the smart watches okay so if i click on smart watches category then you can see in categories smart watches is uh, already already checked and all the smart watches is uh, showing only okay now let's uh, add some products in cart okay so let me add this tv okay so if i click on add to cart then here you can see loader and a 
success message that uh, your product is added to cart and here you can see the cart uh, icon is showing one item and if i click on this then you can see cart uh, number is increased to two okay so like this you can add any product into the cart you can also add a product just by going to the product detail page from here you can increase the quantity so i'm increasing to three okay and then click on add to cart so you can see product added to cart so total three uh, products is now in the cart so if i click on carts cart then here you can see all the uh, items which are already added to the cart okay now here you can see some basic info like product image product name product unit price and you can increase decrease quantity from here also and total will be calculated according to the quantity okay and you can also remove any products from the cart okay so suppose uh, let me increase the quantity of this redmi watch 3 okay so if i click on this plus uh, button then you can see the quantity become 2 and the total is also calculated okay and i can remove this product from here also and based on these uh, calculation the subtotal and uh, sorry grand total is automatically calculating here okay if i remove all the products from the cart then you can see no cart no items in the cart showing also uh, the cart num uh, cart count is become zero and uh, there is no checkout button showing here okay so let's uh, again add some items to the cart okay so i have added three items so now you can see three items are here now if i click on checkout then you can see we are redirected back to sign in page okay so before uh, checkout first we have to uh, create an account if not already and if uh, if there is an account already then we have to sign in okay so let me first sign up for a new account so here i will write uh, test user okay and test at the rate gmail.com and password one two three four five six okay now if i click on sign up then here you can see this email has already been taken so we have to write unique email so i'm written here four four and now click on sign up so you can see now we are redirected to the checkout page okay so after sign up we are automatically signed in and checkout uh, redirected to this checkout page now here in checkout page you can see the summary of the order like subtotal and uh, grand total i am not uh, adding taxes and shipping cost for now okay and here you can see basket summary so these are the items which i'm going to purchase okay and there is a button place order so if i click on place order then you can see all the fields are validating okay so we have to enter all the uh, shipping address details so in name uh, i will use this uh, fake filler chrome extension so all the details are filled now and here we have to select the payment method so we can select cash on delivery or we can also use stripe okay so i'm going to use this stripe method so i can uh, click on this and then click on place order so you can see processing so just wait it will redirect to the stripe checkout page So here you can see the total amount and the uh, list of products okay so here I'm I will use stripe fake credit card details okay. and if I click on pay 
then you can see this is the success page uh, with the uh, some information like name and the address okay and the order number date total amount and payment method okay and these are order details like subtotal discount shipping and total delivery charge like this type of information is shown here and you can see the cart is now clear we can from here i can go to my orders so you can also go to my orders from here if you just over to this test user so this is the name of the user so if you just over this then you can go to my orders okay so here you can see all the orders are displaying here like order number date and order status payment status order amount and action so i can view uh, details of this order so just click on view details so here you can see the details of the order like uh, customer name order date and order status and payment status and uh, these are the products which i purchased okay and these are the uh, summary like subtotal grand total and this is the uh, address that i used for this order okay now uh, if i just go to my orders then you can see all the orders here i can log out from here now let me sign in with the different user okay so this user has so many orders already so if i go here you can see all the orders of this uh, user are listed here with the pagination okay and this user can check the details of any order okay now suppose any user forgot his password then we can uh, we can reset the password just by going to forgot password okay and we have to write the registered email address before this uh, first i will let uh, i will see you so sorry i will show you when uh, a order is generated then an email is sent to the customer with this view okay so here you can see order created thank you for your order you your order number is 37 and if i click uh, sorry if the customer click on this button then uh, let me sign test at test44 at the red gmail dot com and password one two three four five six if he signs in then he can see the details of the order okay so i am sending mail also when order is created to the customer now suppose this customer uh, forgot his password okay this customer forgot his password then he can uh, reset password just by going to this forgot password and here he have to write the registered email and click on reset password okay so it is sending a reset link to this email id so here you can see password reset link has been sent to your registered email address now if i go to the email address i am using mail trap for testing okay so this is the uh, reset password notification and here you can see a button reset password okay so if i click on this reset password then here you will be redirected to a reset password page so here you have to write the new password so here i am i will use password uh, like p a double s at the rate one two three okay and in confirmation password confirm password i will write p a double s at the rate one two three okay now if i click on save then you can see it is redirected to the sign in page okay now here if i use previous password that is one two three four five six then here you can see invalid credential is showing so the password is changed so we have to write the new password so p a double s at the rate one two three and click on sign in to sign in the sign in to the account and 
now here from here the user can check orders now this is the orders you can see now go to admin panel and uh, here you can see this is the latest order okay so now if i click on open i can now so you can see payment status page because he used a uh, stripe payment method so this is already paid now i can change the status like processing or shift so i i'm selecting shift okay and also select a shipping method fedex okay and click on save changes so from admin panel i have i have updated some infos now user can check the updated infos like here you can see order status has been showing shipped okay now if user click on view details of the project then you can see the shipped details here and we can also select delivered okay and then click on save changes and if i reload here in in user panel then you can see status is now showing delivered okay and if i go to my orders page then also here showing delivered so that's it for this video in next video i will start working on this project and upload video tutorial in my channel so if you are not subscribed to my channel then subscribe uh, subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified whenever i upload a new video thanks